I stand here before you totally outraged at what the Nigerian military has done to this man of peace, Sheikh Ibrahim Zaksaki. I say this because I have known Sheikh Zaksaki for more than 33 years. I first met him in 1982 in England at one of our conferences when he was just released from prison in Nigeria. And he has been in and out of prison in Nigeria for many years. Why? Because he has spoken out against corruption. He has spoken out against oppression. He has spoken out against tyranny. And he has spoken out against the exploitation of the resources of Nigeria as well as the Nigerian people. He's a man of peace, not of violence. And it is so incredible that the Nigerian military, instead of going after these terrorists of Boko Haram, would go after a man of peace and slaughter thousands of his followers. I can also share with you that we, when I say we, I mean myself, my colleagues in our institute, the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought, as well as Crescent International, we have lost a number of our colleagues who were also murdered by the Nigerian army. We know that Sheikh Zaksaki was shot four times on his arms. I saw the pictures. His wife was shot and badly wounded. His only son, who was left since the massacre of his three sons last year in the Quds rally, his only son, Hamad, was also martyred. This is the Nigerian army that claimed that it is going to go after Boko Haram. The question that we need to ask is, how many members of Boko Haram has the Nigerian army killed compared to the massacre that they perpetrated one week ago against Sheikh Zaksaki and his followers. In fact, they brought tanks. They first attacked in the morning and then the, in the evening they brought tanks and they, sh and they shelled his house and Husainiya for 11 hours. We have videos of that. We have evidence of that. We have proof of that. And so we stand here not only in expressing our solidarity with Sheikh Zaksaki and his followers, but we have certain very specific demands. And we know that the Nigerian government is not going to fulfill those demands. We are going to demand of the International Criminal Court that a, an inquiry should be launched against the Nigerian army chief, as well as all others and Canadians are not remaining silent in the face of this terrible atrocity. I thank you for coming out on this very, very cold day. May God bless you. And please continue to show your solidarity and support for these oppressed people. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. No justice, no peace. 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 No justice. No peace, the people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Thank you for the suffering.